a sneak glance back today, and we're looking at pulp or puppy ultra light puplet. That's puppy next for principle one, I think, with loads and loads of stuff strip straight out. So it's downloaded about 90 meg. I've got it around 64 meg of RAM, and there's still some left over. But the programs you're left with are not a lot. The first one is Pathetic Writer. It used to be Ted, I think. I, I, don't quote me on that one, I can't actually remember. Now, it's alright if you've got nothing else. But I don't think I'd really want to use it. It's just, it's DSL style, should we say, just DSL style. But we'll type a few bits here, look, and see how it comes out. Now, it's alright. You know, look, it's alright. But it's just not for me. But if you've got nothing else, hey, go do it, innit? And I'll do it in bold as well. Makes a little bit of difference, not really. It's alright. That one I wouldn't have put in personally, but then I didn't make it, so I'll better shut up, didn't I? Anyway, oh, the other thing about it, that it's saved to only its own format and text or HTML, not even PDF this one. I think we've done Pathetic Writer before, and at least it's saved to a PDF, so you could actually do something with it, but this one doesn't. Bit of a bummer, but hey, never mind. Can't have it all, though. Can't have it all, can you? So anyway. I did download Abbey Word, you see. Yeah, we're going to open Abbey Word up, I think. I'll click on the menu, up to Documents, Abbey Word. Now, it looks a bit odd, doesn't it? Now, do remember, if you're going to do this yourself, it needs two extra dependencies. One, I can't remember the name of, but actually follows Abbey Word itself. It automatically does it. The next one is Go Office. Now, Go Office, you have to do yourself. Otherwise, it just won't start, basically, end of the day. Uh, that's easier to use. I'm a bit more familiar with that. It's got more for me to do, etc., etc. So, I would have, I'd use that personally, which is why I put it on here. But that's all right. Lovely. Close without saving, because I don't want to save it, do I? That'd be a bit silly. Anyway, web browser is Firepub. Now, bear in mind, this is based for really old machines, the actual distro itself. Firepub is a part of Mozilla, obviously, based on it. So that runs quite well. Now, I've turned Adblock off, because it was getting on my nerves. So where should we go? We'll just go and look at puppies. Puppy Linux. Yeah. We'll go to Paper Linux. Here we go. Come the home page. And off we go. Now, you can't really fault Firepup for this. It's really, really nice. It does what it says on the tin. Although, in this particular puppet, I, I tried to put Flash on. And didn't want to know. But then again, if you're only using a Pentium 166 with 32 or 64 of RAM and you've got a really old card, you ain't going to be able to watch videos anyway at the end of the day, are you? So really, it's only for images, uh, and that sort of stuff. You may be able to get a couple of web games to work, maybe not, because most of them are based on Flash, aren't they? So you're up too quick with that one. But on the whole, very nice. Firepup works super duper. Yes, so on to the next. We'll go up here. Right, utilities. Strip that right back. We've got an archive there. File system. Not a lot there, is there? All gone. It's all gone. Get M Paint and an image viewer. That's about it. We've just seen that. Get PDF viewer, so that's not so bad. Right. SIAG is for your spreadsheets. Now, this one, on the other hand, you could probably get away with using without having to use GNumeric. It's got a few more features. And to help it even more, when you go to save as, and see what formats you can save to CSV. So you can actually import that into your Microsoft documents or your OpenOffice documents, and all should work in theory. I haven't tested it, but in theory, that should work, shouldn't it, really? So, yeah, we keep that one. We keep that one. That's a good one. What next? Right, personally, you just got a password manager. Oh, a touch type intuitor. Now, I'm sure this was in DSL the last time I looked at it. I don't know what I'm like to boot up and have a look. But here. Yeah, Learn touch typing. Nice little thing, you know. Remember, this is going to go on a really old machine. It's about 15 years old, maybe older. This is the only sort of thing that's going to be able to run. And all you're going to do is basic tasks on it. I mean, if you've got a shed, you put it down in the shed, wouldn't you? Just in case, you know. Anyway, browsers. Dialo. If you've never used Dialo before, it's just a really, really quick browser. And if anyone's with a bit of reading, a bit of reading text, fine. If you want to watch anything else, don't bother. It ain't going to work. It's just basically for browsing the web, say recipes, a bit of news, a bit of this, a bit of that. But it all works hunky dory, and it's very quick, and it's got such a small footprint anyway. And you get that sort of tab to browsing as well, isn't it? Wow. On such a small puppet. Very good. 
But it's also it's got a shed down the bottom of your garden or something, and you want your computer down there. It didn't matter if it blew up, you could have that down there, couldn't you? Whether you get wireless to work with another thing now. Yeah, so moving on, shall we say. Right, here we go. Where was we? Oh, yes. Oh, eLink's web browser. Right, we're going back in time now. Back to 1990. Oh, yeah, baby. Or well, before that, even, actually. This is just a pure text browser. Now, when we open it up, you'll find out. That's it. But you can use your mouse to click on links. Uh, I don't know what to think about this one, really. I suppose you've got really, 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 really old computers, like a Pentium 60 or something like that. But that'd even run every word, wouldn't it, really, when you think about it? But hey, it's there for you to use if you so wish to choose to do so. It's all right, look. It's all right. It's just not me, really. But yeah, on the whole, it's all right. If you only want to do a bit of reading, it's fine. Moving on, shall we say. I went to a net on me, but you know, that's enough there, yeah. Multimedia, you know, Elsa Mixer, M Player, Xmas, Audio Player. Whether you get M Player to play movies is another thing. Bearing in mind with older machines, you've got the problem of older graphics cards that won't run. You've got your Sudoku on here, look. If you like Sudoku, I don't. I just can't be asked, really, to tell you the truth. But there it's there, there's quite a few games, and they all actually work. Except for this one. There's no picture there when you first boot up. But I know it does work on other puppies, so I know it does work, so don't worry about that. It will work if you want to do that sort of thing to do puzzles. Right, on to the last bit now, I think. Where should we go? Hardware viewer. And we can have a little look here. What, operating system? Tell you all about it. As you can see, puppy does run in root. Know what I'm saying? So, you know, be careful. Memory, I'll open it up for you so you can have a quick look. As you can see, it's my total memory. It says 73 there because I've allowed 12 for the graphics card. So I've done a little bit lighter, but it's still got quite a bit left. It's using no swap whatsoever, and I've given it enough swap as well. You can do anything down there. We'll do one little test, have a bit of a laugh, shall we? See how it goes. This is for a CPU anyway, though, so this is going to work really well. I'm actually using it on quite a, a good CPU here, so this one just wings it away. Anyway, that's Pulp. If you like it, it's a really, really quick download. Give it a go. Sneaky Linux going out. See you later.